Like she grooming. She got everybody. She got the DC Young Flies. She got the Chico Beans. Mm -hmm. But she been grooming them. She's the same person who puts us all on to like the uh, Shaq DVD tour. I've been on the Shaq DVD tour before and the DVD series. They find it's it's like twenty or thirty of us, man. That they know mm -hmm. that they can come to to get a hit show. Yeah. And I, I, it's just a blessing to be one of them 20 or 30, man. Y'all don't know, man. They trying to kick me out this joint. They don't want me here no more. <laughs> but these jokes be hitting so hard. What, what, what is it, though, Alex? You got, is this your personality? Somebody, you piss somebody off? You, you the just older? Been, or? Even like that when I was a kid, man. Just I just got one of them personalities. Like, I feel like I'm a winner. Yeah, yeah. And I'll look through you. Yeah, yeah, to get to where I got to go. Right, right, right. And people, I don't mean you got to cross people. I don't do no cross people, wrong. but I don't. I, I'm, I'm not gonna tolerate you telling me I can't make it. Yeah. And when you tell me I can't make it, that's gonna push me even further. And now I got to step on you. Mm -hmm. I've always been like that since I was a kid. Anybody know me? <clears throat> if they grew up with me and they played football against me, guess what? Alex Scott got the trophy. Right. And you can go ask me. You can put this out there. <laughs> if you played baseball against me, guess what? Alex Scott got the trophy. Mm -hmm. You played basketball against me, Alex Scott, in my age group, Alex Scott got the goddamn trophy. That's just what it is. Yeah, yeah. That's just how I am. And, 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 and I'm and not going to... That's just how I carry it with everything I do, though. But you know what? The, the, the difference, between, difference between you and a lot of people with drive that you see now, you see everybody's a rapper, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and I've heard you talk about this before, too. Everybody's a damn comedian now, too. Oh, yeah. But they're not paying any dues no. and sharpening their craft no. to get they, they they're kind of funny yeah and they, they 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 had one record or one verse that was kind of hot yeah yeah ne next thing you know they think they wrote they wrote you know reasonable doubt or something yeah and uh and i don't think that's not that's not fair it's not it's not fair and it's, it's really not. not lucrative if i'm a, if i'm a business owner trying to sell comedy. but that's what waters down comedy that's what waters down mutes yeah the the good solid artists are getting overlooked yes I for agree. the fly by nights. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, and it's something that we all gotta learn. We sitting here now because we gotta learn this social media. That's right. That's right. <coughs> so so look, man, I, I'm I don't wanna I don't wanna no, no. shut it off too quick, but tell us about this uh your the the T V show that is coming back up on uh, uh True, True TV. True TV. Um hooked up with the same guy, Bob Sumner, that got me on Def Comedy Jam, you know. Laugh Mob, Laugh Tracks. Laugh Mob is his uh management company that he started mm -hmm. back when we did Def Jam. I was the first Laugh Mob artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. Signed. I was the first person signed to like a comedy label. Yeah. Okay. To a comedy label. But At the time he had me, Little Rail, that mm -hmm. had the show Rail on Fox. Mm -hmm. uh, he had uh, the guy Mark Vieira. Uh, I mean, so many people, man. Corey Fernandez, who ended up doing some big movies. I mean, it was so many of us at the, at the beginning. And now he always used to say, Laugh Mob is a movement. It's a movement, right. you know? And we were buying into it, and, and it and it still is. Yeah. So now we're on the show. You know, I did it last season with them in L.A., and they moved season two to Chicago this year uh, okay. because it's a it's a better audience. Okay, really? Like we were just talking about, yeah, L.A. Yeah. manufactured. It's manufactured, yeah. Chicago, you got to bring it. Wrong. Wrong. So like like Bernie Mac, the way Bernie Mac came up. I ain't scared of you. <laughs> See, a lot of people don't know the story with that. The guy in front of Bernie Mac bombed. Yeah. White dude. Yeah. Bombed. The dude in front of him bombed. Mm -hmm. That's why Bernie Mac had to come out and say, look here, I ain't scared of none of y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> y'all think y'all gonna boo me, motherfucker? <laughs> That's why he had to go so hard. It was almost like what we talked about earlier where I just got to tune these niggas over to do and be so focused that you're not gonna stop me. He yeah. he wanted it so bad, but the true TV show is a is a new way of because it's, it's it's social media way of thing now. You know everybody watches shit on their phone. They take one of your jokes and they hire actors uh, to bring your jokes to life. Mm -hmm. And there's got to be a certain way that you write your jokes that they can even use your jokes. It was ingenious, man. I was I was impressed. I've heard that joke. I heard you tell that joke before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was just amazed at how they... I, you had one of the funniest ones on the whole show. Oh, the, the producer told me, he's like, when I first got to L.A. last year, he's like, your skit with the dude jumping out the window is my favorite one. Hilarious, man. So the dude this year came up to me, uh, producer, uh, the executive producer guy, Hugh Fink, he came up to me, he said, I ain't gonna lie, he said, my top dog this year. He said that joke, this joke you do with the DC sniper. He said, "Man, it's genius." 
And so we brought it to Chicago and we brought it live last week. He said, we just want everybody to perform it live. So we're going to cut some clips in and out. So that's the joke that's going to be that's on gonna there this be the year? That's going to be the joke that's going to be on there this year. Okay. I got two jokes on there this year. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, and then I got the one of you ever heard me do the one and when I lower my voice, like, I am so glad you said something. <laughs> Yeah, they got that, that one on there too. Yeah, so yeah. that's that's gonna hit. I mean, so I performed both of them live in Chicago last week. And when I say I blew the roof off the joint, I mean, I've had some TV shows and I've had people come. I like Def Jam. I blew the roof off Def Jam. And people were really working with me and trying to get shit going. I, I had the wrong agent at the time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? This nigga, he, I'm, I'm, we supposed to be working the room. I seriously had the best set in Def Jam that night. Mm-hmm. And he should have worked the room harder. You know, I mean, I got a few things, but. It just ain't pan out like I wanted it to. Understood, yeah. But this one that here in Chicago last week, man, I blew that bitch up. Yeah. The 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 producer is still emailing me to this day, so I'm getting ready to go to Hollywood. They're even talking about having me coming to do my own act outs mm-hmm. and to give me the FaceTime on these jokes. He's like, I, I I don't think anybody else deserves the credit yeah. that this shit going to get. I'm mm-hmm. like, uh, you know, I'm like, I'm with it, especially yeah. if I'm getting paid to come. Let's do Hell it. Hell yeah. But- you know, I was so, going to ask you, Alex, I mean, um, it's got to be, you know, anybody that wants to be an entertainer for a profession, right? Mm-hmm. I sit and give them the side eye, I'm like, I don't know if you want to do that. You got to be a different type of guy, man. Yeah, yeah. You you got to have your hustle. You definitely got to have your hustle on to, to feed yourself and, doing that. And that's part of the reason why people don't like me. Yeah. Me and my wife, always, I always laugh with my wife. I say, I'm at least 95% on collections. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 95% a collection rate. Yeah. I mean, as a DJ, you probably in 90, 95. Nobody at 100. Sometimes shit get messed up or hey, hey, you, you mess up something or you mess up some equipment. But I mean, I, I bring home all of the money 95% yeah, of the time. Yeah, see, I'm not, you know, I'm not on the level that you're on, but I'm, I'm, a lo- I'm, a, I'm a more local oriented guy. But And I'm not, a, again, I'm not a tough guy. But you're going to pay me my damn you're gonna money. You're going to pay me my goddamn money. Yeah, that's right. Or you're going right. to drag me out this Oh, day. yeah. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem. Hey, <laughs> you I know, have some problems. I, 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 I got contracted to do this work. I performed. Yeah. People got people had a good time. Yeah. You give me my damn money. Well, see, y'all better. Y'all always work out better than the comedian. Because <laughs> the first thing he do when he bring the comedian to the back, say, look, I had to pay the DJ. <laughs> The DJ they gonna cut the damn music off if I don't pay him. I had yeah, to pay right. this nigga. Hey, look, we DJ had... the first guy to get paid everywhere. <laughs> no. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you're taking a risk, and I mean, we could talk. It's, it's all kind of shit. I mean, we I, can talk I, about I, I've, I've had shows where a guy called me to come to Tallahassee, Florida. Say you can stay at the Double Tree. Me and my buddy get down. There. Ain't even no Double Tree <laughs> in Tallahassee, goddamn. <laughs> no Double Tree. Yeah, and and you don't got a room. You don't have a room for the night before. You got a room for after the show. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we know I, we, we've seen all of me scams, and this man. other dude. We go down and like I said, this dude tell us we had the double tree. It's no double tree. So this is before social media and people really googling shit. What's going on? <laughs> this is back like the nineties when people are writing down directions for you. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm going down ninety five. Like all right, I got a loop exit <laughs> five twenty eight when I get to Florida. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hell that's yeah. how far I go back. Hell yeah, that's how far I go back. I didn't know it wasn't no motherfucking double treat. So we end up at the Connell Lodge. We, in this, we steaming. We steaming hot. Oh, we steaming hot. So the girl with us, we like, if we going to lower him in here, we going to let you fuck him up. Because he going to be too embarrassed to say a girl fucked him up <laughs> to get the police over. So she take one of these tripods. So we call him over there. We like, hey, we need to talk, man. He like, yeah. So as soon as he walk in, he like, I think I got like, I'm going to see how much I got on me when I get it. We like, okay. As soon as he walk in, she cracking with the goddamn. <laughs> she cracking with the iPad, uh, iPod, tripod shit. We like, nigga, you better give us our goddamn money right now. Man, it really make you want to do something to somebody man. after you, you've done your part. I've done my part. I've been you in North me, Carolina man. before. Get down there to do it. I'm supposed to get 800 myself. Yeah. This is back right after Def Jam. I'm getting 800. Corey Fernandez getting 800. And like two other people supposed to be getting like 400. This nigga got like 290 all together. <laughs> Oh, everything all added, all in. He two ninety. <laughs> so I got like two cats with me from Southeast. They ready to murder. Oh, they on murder. They on murder time. I'm out there like, look, this ain't. I mean, it's serious, but it ain't that serious. 
My nigga, one nigga from Southeast, he like, I'm a, I'm a murder nigga. I'm a kill this nigga. I'm like, hey, wait a minute. I got one nigga from Brooklyn and one nigga from Southeast. They all day, it's go time. We all the way down North Carolina. Goldsboro, North Carolina. Right, right outside Seymour Johnson. I've been, I've been all in places, man. Man, for and, all of, how long? And, I, and what, I, what I was alluding to, man, is I like to, to, to highlight to the world that it's people from small towns like we come from who've achieved great, great greatness, man. And um, so if, you know, just like my man, a dweller, he's been all over the country playing reggae music, right? And he just started a couple of years ago. And he's been touring all over the country and he's going overseas and all that stuff. But I'm like, if somebody wants to learn how to be a comedian, they probably ought to emulate and find out about what you've done. That's why I wanted to start this pla- this platform so they can watch and see, oh man, it's somebody look like me, come from where I come from, and it's showing me the blueprint of how to get to from point A to point B, man. So we we you know, even though if we don't come to your shows and all of that type of stuff, man, we are totally with you. And, I mean, and when you out there doing week, your y'all thing working every week too. When you out there doing your thing, man, we we proud like it's like it's our family out there doing it, man. And I'm still emulating somebody from our way, you know, Tina Gordon Chisholm. You know, Tina Gordon. Yeah, big time, man. Big time. So you know, I'm I'm into writing these movies now. You know, I got three scripts written, but I'm I'm reaching out to Tina. Tina, people don't know Tina Gordon Chisholm. Yeah, Uh, she went to Madison and Culpeper High School back and forth. You know, she came to the Garnets Mm -hmm. and Jewel and the Carpenters and stuff. She wrote Drumline. Mm-hmm. She, she wrote ATL. She Just like they're having the Black Film Festival in Miami this weekend. She teaches the script writing class at the National Black Film Festival. A man, girl that's from big, Culpeper. Man. A somebody girl from, from Culpeper Orange away. and Madison. Yeah. From yeah. A P- somebody that could have went to Piedmont. <laughs> <laughs> if you went from Culpeper Orange or Madison or Rappahannock, <laughs> you all in our damn family. Damn it's right. all inclusive, goddamn. Man, so look, I, I I appreciate it, man. Like I said, I could talk to you all night, man. But I appreciate it. We're gonna have to do part two or three for this, yeah, man, to make it. to get to bring it to fruition. Let's do it. So next time you um go on the road and come back, man, I want to talk to you again, man. Tell me a little about it. So cause really, because it's not for me, it's for the people, man. No, so it's the people for the people, know, man. You know. So I anyway, it. thank you for coming through, man. Peace. All right.